So last night I figured out what the problem was. Um, the rear pin, just kind of hard to see down in here. Ah, there we go. All right, so this is what broke. The rear pin here on the rear differential. And now when it spins, the drive shaft does not spin with it. That's why the drive shaft is in the drive shaft. There's so much play. So, uh, parts are ordered, and they'll be here hopefully soon. All right, let's get this back off and get the drive shaft out of here. Let's see what we gotta do. Well, there's a little piece that broke. You can see the center. Focus it there a little bit. Uh, that's where it broke the pin, right there. Oh, so, just gotta wait for the parts now. While I got it apart, I'm going to go ahead and fill the shocks. This one looks in pretty bad shape. And I can tell the diff case has been leaking, so. First time I've had it out. And it looks pretty good. Whatever grease it started with is no longer in here. So. Losi Traxxas uh, from the 6 and from the X-Max. Alright, so we're all back together. I uh, ended up with 60 weight for the rear diff and 20 weight on the rear shocks. I figured with the size of the tires, I'll try something different. Usually I go much higher, just trying something. So, um, once it cools down a little bit, I'm going out for a run tonight. Alright, so we're all back together. I uh, ended up with 60 weight for the rear diff and 20 weight on the rear shocks. I figured with the size of the tires, I'll try something different. Usually I go much higher, just trying something. So, um, once it cools down a little bit, I'm going out for a run tonight. Okay, 6.15 Sunday morning. Let's see if everything works. Well, it seemed good, and they just broke the same pin again. Um, I have to figure that one out. Well, run was going good, and I heard it snap, 
and same pin broke the second time now. Um, this one I'm not sure why. Alright, I have to pull it back apart. 